Thanks for tuning into our podcast. We love having you here, and it's our mission to bring you all the latest and greatest tips, skills, and know-how to make you the best that you can be. We know that you have it in you, and we're going to show you how. Now, now, let's get started. Thank you for tuning in today. You are now listening to That Will Never Work podcast with your host, Maurice Chisholm. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. So today um, is a follow-up a little bit from my last uh, episode talking about practice. I had come across a meme, and so what happens is, again, for those of you who are struggling trying to find content, content is around you 100% of the time. It's just a matter of whether or not you taking in this content or not, and whether or not it speaks to you or not, and are you confident enough to even talk about it? Does it resonate with you for you to talk about? Well, when we think about practice, Right, you're you're gearing yourself up. You're you're preparing yourself to get to a, a another level, another place. But the key is, you have to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. And what I find consistently, uh, the inability for people to even start. And why are people not even starting the process? Why won't they even begin? Why are they struggling with that initial step? Well, what I found is the fear of failing. So let's let's examine that word fail. At one particular time, um, you know, I, I can remember from my childhood that the word fail was, it was everywhere. You know, you would get an F on your report card, things like that. I realized that today, especially when my kids were in school, they did not have grades. They didn't have A, B, C, D, E, F, because I remember when we had an E and an F. And then eventually it changed where you went from D to F. Uh, and now... What I, as my kids were in school, my children were in school, they were getting numbers instead of letters. But I think the word fail or F or um, whatever it is, I think it's key in order for you to move forward. And I have seen this, this meme where they use this acronym for the word fail. And with this acronym, I think it's key for you to move forward. Because all it does, it it, it shows you that or it tells you up front that you can still move forward. You can still learn from this process. You can still push through this process to get to what you want and what you need what you desire. So as as you try and you fail, are you picking yourself up to move forward? As you try and you fail, are you encouraging yourself by saying, hey, let's get up off the floor. Hey, you tried this, let's get moving. Hey, it didn't work the first time, let's go. So the acronym was first attempt in learning. Fail means first attempt in learning. We we have to understand that as we are Going through this process, we are forever learning. We're learning never stops. So as we fail with the appearance of failing, you don't fail. You're actually learning 
you're pulling something from it to to know that hey let's not go down this road again and understand that when you do fail the first time every time you fail after that it is still the first attempt and learning maurice you might ask then you know you may ask maurice well, how is that because if you attempted something and you changed one of your approaches it is still a first attempt every time you change a key factor or a key component to your attempt it is still the first attempt now some of us may try to go back and revisit another attempt but in that approach again is it still the same because now you've learned what happened in the previous three and now you might have gone back to number one but now you understand what two and three what those outcomes were so you're you're you have already learned that process so you might have even tweaked what you thought was number one is really now number four now five and six because now you continually tr tweaking each attempt. There's no way for you to attempt the same process again and again. Because you are learning what you have done previously. It appears that you are doing the same thing over and over and over again. But in reality, you already know what the outcome was. So are you doing the exact same thing? Some people say, hey, you know, you can. You, you can do the exact same thing over and over and over again and expect different results. And, and I don't believe that. I don't believe that you're doing the exact same thing. I believe that sometimes people are just um, not acknowledging that they, they've tweaked the, the situation a little bit differently. Because if you fail... The first time, this go around, you may say, you know what, I'm going to hold off a little longer. So that's not the same as you might have in the first go round. You know, so so there's always a little tweaks here and there that, again, becomes the first attempt and learning. So don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to try. And keep in mind that each time you do this, you're gaining something. You're becoming stronger. You're becoming more aware. And I hope that in every moment that you fail, quote unquote, that your desire to achieve your goals and dreams and desires and wishes become stronger. Please be encouraged today. Knowing that fail, the word fail is not a negative. The word success is right on the other side because every through every failure or every moment that you feel like you failed. There is success because you've learned something. You've gotten something out of it. Be encouraged that even though it looks like you have an F on your report card, you've actually learned something in the first time or this first attempt in learning. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you.